A new report by the World Bank shows that more than 100 countries across the globe face serious obstacles that could hinder their efforts to become high-income countries in the next few decades. The study dubbed Middle Income Trap highlights that growth slowdowns occur more frequently in middle-income countries than in low- or high-income countries. Development strategies that served countries well in their low-income phase, capital investment in particular, yield diminishing returns. Further, middle-income countries will have to engineer at least two successive transitions to develop economic structures that can eventually sustain high income levels, one being a strategy for accelerating investment, and secondly, a strategy focusing on both investment and infusion, in which countries bring technologies from abroad and diffuse them domestically. The report further shows that over time, it has become harder for countries to achieve the middle-income state with foreign trade and investment being in danger of becoming constricted by geopolitical tensions. Rising debt and adverse demographics have also been cited for crowding out private investors and reducing public investment. Noting that accelerating climate action will require large investments in infrastructure and regulatory reforms that may stall productivity. According to the World Bank Group Chief Economist and Senior Vice President for Development Economics, in Dermot Gill, too many of these countries rely on outmoded strategies to become advanced economies. They depend just on investment for too long or they switch prematurely to innovation, adding that a fresh approach is needed. First focus on investment, then add an emphasis on infusion of new technologies from abroad and adopt a three-pronged strategy that balances investment, infusion and innovation.